Where's your feed? Dunbar wants to know where his feed is. Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Thank you guys for watching us. We're gonna switch up our feeding program a little bit. As most of you know, we had our big bulk feeder out. I put it out at the beginning of the summer, um, or very early June. And my goal was to try to push my females, breeding aged females. And what I mean by push, that means, remember bison uh, can breed at two years old. This year, one of my older heifers didn't get bred. Um, she was on the lower age end of my original herd, but she didn't get bred. And so we were basically three for four this year on having calves. And um, that's great. And we love that and we we're excited about that. It's the most calves we've had um, in a season. But when I say push, what I mean by that is when they start eating more, they're a little bit more healthy they're still grazing, that doesn't change. But what's great about bison is that bison will not indulge themselves. They will not overeat supplement feed. They will only eat so much and then they go back to grazing, they'll come back and supplement feed um, and then they'll go back to the pasture and graze. They love grass, that's what they do, that's what they're created for, is to graze. But when they got that supplement feed, they'll come up and they'll snack on it and it keeps them healthy, it keeps them uh, fresh, and it gives them the more opportunity when breeding season comes around, which is now, breeding season is here, um, those females will be ready, and hopefully it boosts their chance of getting pregnant, which is great. Thank you, it is a good morning. Appreciate it, Mr. Rooster. It boosts uh, their metabolism, it kinda gives them that uh, fresh feeling, and that hopefully it cycles them and gets them going and plus it helps the bull because uh, he needs to put on a little weight because it's a lot of work for him as well as he starts to chase these females around court them and start breeding these females so it'll be exciting to see the results we don't know um we'll have to wait until next spring early summer to see how many babies we get we should, we have an opportunity if everything goes right and every breeding female gets bred, we would have, I believe, six babies. I think six. So what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna change up our feeding. We're gonna come back to our one ton feeder. I just filled it up at Stillwater Millen. We got one ton of our same feed that we always feed, it's four way blend. Believe it or not, this bulk feeder that I put out in June, we had over five tons of bulk feed in it. Supplement feed, it's the same feed I always feed, the four-way blend. Put it out in early June, and it's August, middle of August, and this thing is completely empty. These guys right here went through all this feed, and two and a half months. That shows you right there. And I've got 13 and only three of them are baby calves. That shows you right there how much feed these animals can go through. The great thing about bison is that they don't indulge themselves. They don't overeat like cattle do. Cattle can get into feed or if they get into too much alfalfa hay, uh, they'll indulge themselves and they'll eat too much and their stomachs will swell up and, and, and they can die from that, obviously. But that's the great thing about supplement feeding like a lot of bison people do. When you supplement feed, you don't have to worry about them overeating, okay? They're still gonna graze and they're still gonna do what they normally do, but they're not gonna overeat. Where's your feed? Dunbar wants to know where his feed is. I also believe there's some courting going on courting 
you got Dunbar here and I noticed he ran her calf off a while ago. This is Quapaw. She's a four year old cow. She's had two calves now. She's had a heifer and a bull. She had her bull the first year and then she's had a heifer. But this is called courting. Notice he's got her completely separated from the rest of the herd. So he must be following her around. That means she's cycling, she's in heat, and that um, he'll probably breed her pretty soon. So what is courting? So what he'll do with a lot of these females, these breeding aged females, is he will Whichever one has gone through heat. So what he'll do with these breeding age females is he will pick the ones that are going through heat. He'll take them and he'll kind of separate him and her from the rest of the herd. Courts them for a couple of days. Um, I, I've even seen him court them up to a week or, or, or longer. And he'll court them, single them out for a while. Then he'll breed them once he's bred his cow or heifer that's never had a baby he'll move on to the next one and he'll start courting the next one that is in heat so i'm pretty pleased at how the bulk feeder is held up remember i painted the bottom liner in an epoxy uh, just to cover up some of that rust and it held up pretty good i'm surprised that it did uh, some of it's chipping up and that's just because it's, it's it's used so um, may have to go back over some uh, more of that bottom liner where they actually eat out of but I'm gonna get this out of here and we're gonna get our other bulk feeder set up in the barn so we can uh, get our feed out of it and it's protected from the weather and whatnot. We're gonna get the bulk feeder out of the pasture and that means I can't have the bison in there so I've got to feed them right now to get them out of that pasture because if they hear those orange gates rattling and they hear that chain they know that they uh there's something going on and uh, they're always curious so i've got to get that bulk feeder out of there to put away for the for the rest of this year for now and um, we're just going to do our supplement feeding and feed out of the bucket so i gotta get that out of there Okay, I got the bison fed, but uh, I've got to go through these orange gates. And if you guys watched my last video, this is the one that Dunbar flipped open with his horns, knocked it off the hinge. Got the hinges flipped around now. See, it's this top hinge that has to be down. This one can be up so it can swivel. And then, yes, we've got it chained this time. Yeah, we've got it chained. So. If Dunbar does happen to break this hinge, yeah, if he happens to break it, which he can, I've, we've seen him do that. Got an extra chain here, just in case. So, we gotta go in here and get that bulk feeder out.
So why do we supplement feed? A lot of you guys ask that. If you're, a lot of you are new um, subscribers or if a lot of you or a lot of you are wanting to start your own bison herd. Here are some reasons why we supplement feed. One, we have a lot of grass here in southern Oklahoma where this ranch is located. We don't have, they're not on 100 acres. They're not on 1,000 acres, okay? Like a lot of bison are in some places. We don't have that opportunity yet. Maybe someday. That's my goal. However, there is lots of grass and they're grazing, and that's great. But guys, bison need a little extra something. I know that they survived for hundreds of years living in the Great Plains and, and living on what they do and what they were raised for and what they're good at, and that's grazing. So yes, that's what they need. However, it's not like that anymore. You know, there are some big ranches where these bison can graze for, for, for miles and miles, but we don't have that here. There's not a, ranch, a lot of ranches like that, even in Oklahoma. There are some, including the tall grass prairie. They can do that because they have a lot of grass. And then they're gonna supplement feed some. I don't know if they do there, but a lot of places have to supplement feed. We also feed, we use hay to feed as well, especially in the winter time when all the grass is, is dormant. We feed because guys, it keeps them healthy. These bison, I, I, I don't, I'm not bragging or nothing, but these bison look good. And even uh, my vet, Doc Parsons, um, who comes and, and sees them twice a year and, and uh, who I stay in contact with and who's helped me through this process, who I bought bison from, tell me that these bison look good. And guys, he's been in the business for a long time. And so to hear that from Doc Parsons is awesome. Um, so we try to keep our animals healthy. We want them to breed and we want them to reproduce, which is part of this business. We want to grow the bison herd. And to be able to do that, these animals got to be healthy. I don't want to look out here and see these bison all skinny, okay? The, their coat won't be good, their health won't be good, and they just need some minerals because they're not roaming out on hundreds or thousands of acres where they can get lots of grass and they're moving. As the seasons change, they're moving and grazing as well on different parts of the country. Don't have that anymore. We don't feed ours to make them fat. We don't feed ours to make them where we're gonna slaughter them, okay? You can do that, and a lot of people do do that, but we're not gonna do that, okay? Um, we may use supplement feed to finish some of our animals once we have enough to sell for, for uh, market, for meat, but we don't have that capability yet. They're still grazing, they're still eating grass, but they just need those extra nutrients so that they can feel full and they can be healthy, and we keep them happy. That's the other thing. You keep the bison happy, they won't tear your fences down. Knock on wood. But if you have a bull, watch out, cause and make sure your hinges are down, okay? Because they will flip the gates. Just make sure you do that, okay? Thank you guys for watching us. Um, if you haven't, subscribe to us. Small bison farm in Southern Oklahoma, raising the American bison. You can follow us on Facebook, you can follow us on Instagram. And you can check out our website at crosstimbersbison.com. Thank you, guys. I'm going to show you a little sneak peek, too. We've, uh, we've been putting metal on the barn, and it looks good. Be stay tuned for one of my upcoming videos of finishing a barn to cover our bison handling facility. I love the way it looks, and it's, it's crazy. It's like coming together now, and it, it, uh, it's actually got some shade. You can be in the barn, and there's no sun on you. It's pretty nice. Stay tuned, guys. You guys wondering where your feed trailer is? <laughs> well, see you later. Okay. Check you later. <laughs>